Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at a new type of pool on Curve. They're called meta pools. So this is just a, an intro to those pools and understanding how they work in basic terms. For the purpose of this guide, I'm going to assume you're somewhat familiar with how Curve pools work. And if that's not the case, you probably want to go read some of the resources first. So if you scroll to the bottom of the home page, you're going to find a few different information about those new pools. So the first thing that you're going to be able to see is uh, instead of having a bunch of stable coins in it, they're composed of a stable coin and something called tripool. What that means is that instead of having different stable coins in the pool like the other ones, you have a stable coin and an LP token. As a reminder, LP tokens are the tokens that you get when you deposit into a pool. So they are essentially your share of ownership of a pool. So to get that tri-pool token, you just deposit into the tri-pool, which has DAI, USDC and USDT. And in return, you get the tri-pool LP token. So all those pools, they are a mix of the LP token for the tri-pool and a separate coin. So when you're ready, we're just going to explore the USDN pool. So the first thing to notice is that uh, you can swap USDN with all the tokens in the tri-pool. One of the important things to think about when you think about metapools is that it allows to swap a token with uh, all the tokens in another pool. And that's one of the reasons it's so important for Curve is that it allows to do those swaps without diluting liquidity of existing pools. The way that works is that the pool has USDN in it and then those LP tokens we talked about earlier. So when you do a swap, you're doing a swap between USDN and another pool. So the tri pool in this case is called the base pool and the USDN pool is the meta pool. It means that when you deposit into this pool, you can deposit USDN, tripool LP token, or any of the tokens in a tripool. So you hopefully have a decent understanding of how that works now, and you're ready for the next video on how to deposit into one of those pools.